welcome back guys to achieve this effect you have to make a video of yourself with the action that you want i'm going to preview this video so that you will see the before okay and that's it the first thing you are going to do is i'm going to zoom in a little bit so that the face is visible and once that is done you go back tap on effect tap on body effect come to superhero the first light I want to add is this eye reflection. Tap on it. Then you check. Go back to body effect again. Superpowers. Tap on this flame eyes. And check. Go back. Tap on body effect again, superpowers, and click on this electric eyes. Check it. The fourth one, which is the last effect, tap on body effect, superheroes, tap on this lightning eyes. And check. Now it's time to adjust it. First is this lightning eye. I want to polish it. I don't like the purple effect on it. So if you want to change the color of the lightning, just adjust this. Then the glow. If you want to reduce it or increase it, adjust this. The filter. As you are working on it, you'll be seeing the effect on your image. The intensity. You can choose to reduce it so the range if you are done adjusting all those things the next thing is is for us to add the effects to the parts where you want the effects to be from here it should be normal then come in here immediately my eyes start opening you want to add that effect that pink one then you add this flame eyes too these two should come hand in hand sorry now this electric eye should go back a little bit the next eye you want to add is this one adjust it a little bit to the back Now, the moment my eyes start raising up, this flame effect should come. This electric eye effect should come in. Then you adjust it to the end of your clip. So let's see. okay once you are done with this one the next thing you are going to do is to add your flame you know there was a fire in my hand now you tap on overlay i already have a, a fire flame here which i downloaded online for free then you add it to your project now you tap on the flame Tap on blend. This filter blend, tap on it. And the background of the flame is removed. The next thing you are going to do is to target when your hand is coming out. From here, my hand has started coming out. Now, tap on the flame and bring it here. Actually, I want to rotate it. 
then you expand it that's for the first hand the next thing you are going to do is go to max and max that fire with the hand So that there's no it's not looking artificial now when the hand is coming out tap on this and tap on the fire expand it as the hand is coming down just keep adjusting the fire the keyframe and make it bigger I think the masking is too much I can see the hand clearly <laughs> we don't want it to be too obvious that we Mm -hmm. This way is deep. Now here, adjust it. Immediately the hands start moving up. Just keep adding the keyframe and, and adjusting the light. Now cut the remaining part away. Duplicate the light by scrolling to the right. Copy it. And align it with the with the first light. Align it. And I'm going to undo all this keyframe. You tap on it, you tap on that keyframe, so it's going to remove all of them. Because we don't want the same effect on this one. You know, we are we are trying to do for the second hand now. So if you put the same keyframe on it, it's not going to work. Now bring the light. The second light. First, re reduce it. Then down here, add your keyframe. Adjust the light. Adjust it. Now duplicate the light again, copy it again. Then remove all the keyframe again. Now we'll move it a bit to where the light is being sent. That is where the work is. Now you locate this light. This is it. You now start adding keyframe. Make it bigger. Make it bigger. Make it bigger. And there you go. Copy this sec the third clip again and adjust it for the second hand. 
the moment it gets here it should be bigger and bigger and bigger let's preview it and see So there's one more light we need to add you know the way we do it come to effect body effect superpowers tap on this tidal effect and check drag it to somewhere here same length with this lightning eye Now you adjust it to the end of your clip. And this is how it is. The next thing we are going to add is sound. I have um, a free sound I downloaded from Google. I google free sound and i'm able to download the kind of sound that i want so you can also go online and download and look for free sound that you can use any sound that you want that, that portrays the effect you are trying to create but for this one i already downloaded some the sound that i want so you tap on audio sound then you tap on this bring from file this is the sound. Now you add this one. You come again and add the second sound. After adding it, adjust it. So once you are done adjusting it, the next thing you are going to do is to export this video. You tap on new project again and bring that same video you just export. Add it. The next thing you are going to do is copy this video, tap on it, and come to speed, curve, then add this effect. Now to this one. Tap on the second video, scroll to your right, and reverse the video. Once it has been reversed, tap on it, click on speed, curve, flash out. Now, here, you want to add an effect to that to the beginning of the clip tap on effect video effect scroll down and add this chroma zoom Adjust it. Adjust the side, the size. Copy it and add it here. Add it to the ending part. So we should get something like this. Yes. <laughs> 
so this the, the whole process should give us something like this so feel free to adjust it to suit whatever you want to use it for feel free to change the effect feel free to do anything apply filter or anything you want to do to your image thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel